time for some simple interest. So let's hope we keep it simple. This is the concept of putting money in the bank or in the stock market and having it work for you. So there's a simple formula, which is PRT. It's not actually that, it's not accurate, but it's good enough as an approximation. So here's your P, your principal. Your R is this, and your T is this. You take them, you multiply them together. You have $21 at 5% interest for four years. So you take your 21, 5% is 0 0.05 times four, that's how much interest you'll get at 5% in four years. Again, not exactly true, but it's an approximation. You actually get more interest than this. So 21 times 0 0.05 times four will be 21 times 0.2. So 21 times 0.2 is like 21 times two, which gives us 42 but then we have to move the decimal place over one, right? So we'll have 4.2. So we'll, we'll have made $4.2 in four years, um, just from interest. And then we take our original 21 and we add it. So we get 25.2. I think we have to write 25.20. I, I think they might care, but whatever. Hannah has $23 in a savings account. The interest rate is 20% year and it per year and is not compounded. How much will she have in one year? So here's your P. Here's your R. Here's your T. So it's 23 times 0.2 times 1. That's equal to 46. 23 times 2 is 46, but then we move this over. So we get 4.6. We add 4.6 to 23 and we get 27.6. We start off with three, that's our principal. Our interest rate is 5%, our time is four. So we take three times 0 0.05 times four, this will give us 0.2, three times 0.2 is six, and then we remember we have one decimal place to keep track of, so we have 0.6. And then we also have that $3 to start with, right? So it's $3.60 in total we'll end up with. We start off with $2. We have an interest rate of 20%, and we, comp we, we gain for two years, so we do P, R is 0.2, T is 2, so that'll give us 2 times 2 times 2, right, or 2 times, yeah, whatever, we could do 2, yeah, so this will, yeah, it'll just be 0.80, and then we'll do $2 plus 80 cents will give us $2.80, that's how much money we'll have at the end. Caleb has $10 in the savings account. The interest rate is 15% per year and is not compounded. How much interest will we have in five years? So we have P. And this is interesting, right? Because it's just how much interest. Again, they're trying to trick us. So now we don't add it to the 10. So 10 times 0.15 times 5. This will give us 0.15 times 5 is 0.75. And 0.75 times 10 is 75% of 10, which is $7.50. Now, it's not asking how much total money will he have. It's just saying how much interest will he earn in five years. So that's just $7.50. Tricky, tricky. Hannah has $11 in a savings account. The interest rate is 5% per year and is not compounded. How much interest will she have in 20, in four years? So P, R, T, 
this gives us a 0.2. That'll give us a 22, but then we know that we have to move this over, so we'll have a 2.2. So our interest is $2.20, and we just want that, how much interest. So $11 savings account, um, just checking the math. So $2.20 yeah, $2 is the interest. The total would be $13.20, but that's not what they're asking. So even has 19% in a savings account, the interest rate is 20 per, per year and is not compounded. How much interest will he earn in one year? So we have 19 times 0.2 times one. This will be 38, but then there's one decimal place. So it'll be 3.8. So that's the interest. The interest is 3.8. He, he would in a total at the end of the year have $22.80, but the interest is just $3.80. So Hannah has $22 in a savings account. The interest rate is 5% per year and is not compounded. How much interest will she earn in one year? So 23 times 0 0.05 times 1. Take 23, multiply it by 5, get 115. Keep track of those two decimal places. $1.15, they just want the interest. So it'll just be $1.15. Logan has $22 in a savings account. The interest rate is 20% per year. It's not compounded. How much interest will he have in five years? Oh, well, this is a fun one, right? Because we have 22 times 0 0.20 times 5. But hey, what's 0 0.20 times 5? That's just one. So you'll actually double your money in five years. You'll make another 22 just from interest. Again, you'd actually make way more than that the way interest is actually compounded in real life. That's why they call this simple interest. It's not very accurate, but it's a good start to showing you the power of growth. So long story short, this is going to be 22. If you asked for the total amount of money Logan would have, it would be $44, but they're just asking for the interest made. So it'll be $22. William has $23 in the savings account. The interest rate is not is is 20% per year, not matter how much interest will really happen in four years. So 23 times 0.2 times 4, which is 23 times 0.8. And this will give me 160 plus 24, 184. But then we have to do the decimal place over by one. So we should have 18.4 interest. And it's not asking for total, it's just asking for interest. So $18.40. Okay, guys, hopefully we've piqued your interest in terms of learning how to invest your money. And I will see you next time.